Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at urbangardensweb.com, and they're talking about garden pools. We'll go to their website in a second, but basically, they're in a desert environment. They had an old swimming pool, and they decided to convert it into a food-producing little paradise in their backyard. They've done it at a couple of different places, and they also travel around the world. One of their things, and we'll go to this image here, is a closed-loop system. So the chickens... They fertilize the water, which leads to growing greater duckweed. And the duckweed grows really fast. I've done a video on it in the past. It has a lot of good proteins and amino acids. It makes great chicken feed. So the they fertilize their own future food. And the water itself can also be used to grow different types of plants. They use rain gutters as a sort of hydroponic planting device. And they use some expanded clay pellets for a media. They discover that... Uh, sweet potatoes actually grow really well in a soilless media. Now they'll go down to a picture. Here's the chickens with a little chicken wire bottom cage. So they just fertilize the water right down into it. They talk about using different types of plants to get rid of pests like uh, marigolds and garlic to repel white flies and spider mites and ladybugs to get the aphids away. Now here's a picture of some of those rain gutters that just have some expanded clay pellets or some cocoa core, maybe a mix of both, depending on the plant that they're trying to grow. And they flood and drain them with the nutrient solution, or rather, the pond water that's at the bottom of their swimming pool. There are several benefits to this. One, if you already have a swimming pool, demoing it usually isn't a very easy thing. Uh, two, the water down here will stay pretty warm if you're in a cold environment, like a northern climate, when you get a lot of frost and freezing. So that water will actually aid in the cooling down, or rather the warming up of the greenhouse in the wintertime, and indeed the cooling down, because this almost acts like a heat sink, if you will, where the, you know, it stays pretty cool, about four feet below grade. So the water will stay near a constant temperature, which will help regulate the temperature of the greenhouse. A lot of great benefits to the system. And here we are at gardenpool.org in their online classes section. I'm going to link to both pages in the description of this video. How to grow duckweed and how to make a little uh, aeroponics system. A whole bunch of different tips and tricks on how to grow your own little garden pool. Now, again, links will be in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.